Hey, how are you doing? It's Amy Green with Amy and Art Designs. We're going to do some coffee and crafting today. I'm going to see if I can fix this real quick. So come on in, say hello. I might freeze for a second. I had to switch my internet over to the better. Okay, so come on in, say hello. Let me know how you're doing. Um, if you're joining us live, say hi and tell me where you're watching from. And if you're um, if you're watching on the replay, hit um, hashtag replay so I can say hi to you. Um, how are you guys doing? On, it is Friday. I have a sick kid at home, so things are a little crazy. He's not super sick. It's my um, my little one, Gabe. He just has had a cold um, all week, and so he's upstairs. Mm. Morning, Tammy. Um, so he's upstairs resting. We went to school for a couple days. Like he gave him some decongestant and um, like the cough medicine. But he tends to like when he, when we have these like really big weather changes, he tends to get lots of congestion. And um, he just sometimes it just gets him. And so he's up there. He's got like some congestion and a cough. So he went to school for a couple days, gave him like the decongestant in the middle of the day, which helped. But he's just not 100 percent. So. I don't know if he'll come down or not. He might. <laughs> so, oh, and then, yes, uh, someone asked about my migraine. Yes. I mean, yesterday was just pretty much a wash. Like, I don't know if any of y'all get migraines, but that is some serious pain. I have this um, rescue medicine from my doctors, what he calls it, like a rescue med. And it's um, it's supposed to stop it. You know, you can take it. And it's supposed to, within 30 minutes, significantly reduce the pain. And in two hours, it still hadn't. So I could take a second dose in two hours. It took about four hours to like get a little bit of relief. So um, it has just been really crazy. But I'm excited to be here with you. I have Speedy with me this morning. Hold on. Come here, Speedy. You want to say hi? Come here. Come and say hi real quick. Oh, come here. This is, have you guys, you guys have met Speedy, haven't you? I might have Joe come get him because he's being bad. He's just being bad this morning in general. It's raining, so he didn't get his walk this morning. And you guys know terriers. Look how cute this is, though. He chewed up his other harness. I got this one from Amazon. Um, I get the sinus headaches, too. So let's hop through and say hi to everybody, and then we'll get started. Speedy, don't know. He also likes to chew wood cutouts. He, there's something about the wood cutouts that he loves. He loves to chew. So... Hey, Tammy and Tammy W, Tammy with, we have Tammy with a Y and Tammy with an I in my um, business group. There's four Amy's. So we have um, Amy H, Amy B, Amy P, and then they usually call me the other Amy. <laughs> ah, hey, Leslie, Kim, hey, Sue. Uh, yes, they have been, I'll tell you what, this weather, this Midwestern. It happened in Texas too, though. Like there was a period where like everything's covered in like yellow pollen. Um, yep. I get the sinus headaches too. Hey, Michelle, I'm glad you caught us too. Hey, Kim C. There's lots of Kims. Yep. Happy Friday, everybody. Okay. Let me show you what we got today. I'm going to put him back on his leash. Huh? Will you go back on your leash? Can you sit? Hey, show him. Show him. Behave. Sit. Can you wait? Oh, that's such a good wait. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, good boy. All right. He waits for his food and his treats, don't you? Hmm. You do. All right. They don't they don't want to see us talk, Speedy. I mean, they want to they want to see some crafting. Will you behave or does Joe need to come get you? Mm -hmm. Huh? So he was upstairs and Joe went to take care of Gabe and then Speedy started barking because he just can't help himself. So, all right, let me add my other screen and we will get started. Um, so y'all remember, let me do this. This view is a little better. Okay. Y'all remember the sign over here. Let me get it. That I'm, I actually made this in Stacy's group from Wilshire Collections. I made this um, B sign. And I, I mean, I showed y'all some of you guys have this already, um, or it's on the way to you, but there's actually a tear tray that goes with this and it's super cute, same style. And so I wanted to make that today just for fun. I know a lot of you guys like the bigger sign. So sometimes taking a big sign and shrinking it works really well. And then other times, um, 
when you shrink it, some of the size of the elements don't work out and you have to, to, to rescale and stuff. So I want to show you guys. And also one of the things I want to show you guys today is how to like selectively unmask your wood so that it makes painting easier because with a tray like this, selectively unmasking is going to save you lots of trouble painting. So, oh, yay, Tammy, you're feeling better. You got over your sinus infection. Well, shipping out to you, Tammy, it's like across the country, girl. It's, I mean, the only way it could be farther is if I lived in Maine, right? I mean, it just is way all the way across the country. It just takes a little bit, but I'm glad you got it. Um, so we have this little sign, a stacked word sign, which is really cute. Um, the honey pot, which is super cute too. I really, the honey pot has a stand that goes with it. So it kind of stands up in one of those little slotted stands. The big B. Some of these fell. This says be kind. It's a it's a mini version without that um, beehive with a little bee and a little honeycomb piece that goes in the corner. Um, and then these little flowers that are with this set, you can put them anywhere, but there's lots of little flowers. Hey Sandy. Glad you're here. And then there's four of these little hexagon signs that make your garland, which is super cute. So I have, um, this is a super busy time of month now because I'm getting the boxes, the Joyful Crafting Club boxes out. But after that, I've got a couple fun things you guys are really going to like to see in terms of like, one is in terms of displaying your tear tray and one is just like a fun interchangeable um, that you're going to love. Um, and so I know Diane has my gnomes, the gnome sets, this one, I, I keep forgetting. So Diane, I know you've got the gnomes. I, I, there's a handful of y'all that have the gnomes girls. I am going to send you because I did not get it done. Um, I think with a joyful crafting club launch, I just kind of fell short. And so I have. St. Patrick's Day and Easter attachments. I'm going to mail everyone who bought the gnomes just as like an oopsie. Amy messed up and I didn't list them for you. So I'm going to need to probably cut. I'm going to have to cut the Joyful Crafting Club boxes first. I said I would get to it. I didn't get to it. I know I haven't done it yet, but I will get you guys those. I'll mail you the hand attachments. So like if you bought the boy and the girl gnome, I'll, I'll send you both. And if you bought only the, the boy gnome, I know I just saw Diane, Diane's name pop up. Um, and I wanted to make sure um, Pam too, the other Pam. So, and if you bought only the girl gnome or only one gnome, I'll send you the extra sets. But there's two sets I owe you. And then I have like spring and summer I'm going to list. But I just wanted you to know those are coming. I did not. I, I. It just, and it's, it's like a gift from me to you because I messed up and I want you to have them. And you, I did not give you the option to have them. Those are on my website. And I just, I feel really bad because I did not give them, I did not get it up. That was a mess on my fault. And I committed to that. And so for those people who bought the gnomes, because you are going to have a new attachment every season, you're getting them for free. A little late, but you're getting them as a gift. Speedy. Okay, so Leslie, um, I'll tell you about this shirt in a minute. Um, oh, hey, Miss Leslie, you're here too. Hey, Joe, if you're watching, come get Speedy. I should let you keep him. Um, so let's get started. I don't know if I have time to paint all of the um, all of the uh, signs today because I've got to cut boxes. Speedy, Joe's coming. You guys might get to see them, but I think we're definitely, oops, going to do the honey because that's super cute. And then I want to, um, you guys let me know, would you rather see if I was only going to be able to do two today? Hey, Joe, come say hi. Hi. <laughs> he's not coming on. <laughs> he's he's, he's going to go viral. Um, so would you guys, I, I want to do. I want to do the honey pot, but let me know. Drop in the comments below if you would rather have me do the be kind sign and show you how to selectively weed with that or this one and how to selectively weed with that. Tell me which one you'd rather see. Everybody says hi, honey. 
Oh, Chris Keltner is trying to watch from work today. Yeah, no, they are. I just screwed up. So um, I'm everyone who already has the gnomes, you're getting the bonuses for free because, um, and I've got um, the other problem I ran into is that I have to cut them from a thinner wood and I couldn't get the thinner wood. So I've got the thinner wood and, um, and so I'm going to be able to cut those now. That was the problem I ran into. It's just, you need that thinner wood to go on the front because if not, it's too heavy and then it plops over. So they are still happening. Um, but I just had a lot of logistical issues. Um, everybody's saying hi. Okay, so we're going. It looks like be kind is the majority. That's what we'll do. All right, so I'll set this to the side. Okay, this is for those of you guys that um, painted the, the the farmers market tray. We can use the same um, thing, the the spring farmers market with the truck and, and in joyful crafting. Remember how we talked about leaving the center of this mask on so you can paint two different colors easily. That's definitely an option with this set. This set also has, if you want to do it, these little tiny centers that you can paint and then glue on. But as I was looking at it to myself, I thought that's a relative pain and it's a lot of work with, you know, little impact. So, all right, I like, let's do this and we'll get started. So the shirt, um, this is God Waste Nothing and it, these, it's a like a dandelion and like the intent behind it, Leslie. Um, so guys, I didn't get this listed yet. It's not on my website. I'll get it listed today and I'll send out a text when it's up um, so that you know um, that it's ready, but it's not It's not listed yet. Between being sick yesterday and then having the sick kiddo at home, that's what, um, that's what it was, was I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of behind, honestly. So like for this one, we're not really concerned because this is going to be silver. So this you would just, un you know, unmask, right? It's going to be one color. Um, Leslie, this shirt came from uh, um, my friend Tara at Consider the Fields. Um, and so like the dandelion is more like a reminder of, you know, God does something with everything, right? And the earrings, I don't know if you can see, but they're like, like a wood ring, a little, it's, it's really lightweight, a little leather shape. And then this is resin with dandelions inside of it. Dandelion, like things, what are those little fluffy things in there? Um, and it is absolutely, um, are absolutely gorgeous. And this is her, I'll drop the link. I am not affiliated. Like I'm not an affiliate for her. So I don't get any money for um, anyone who buys anything. She's just my um, dear business bestie. And um, she and I have um, similar kids. <laughs> and so she and I talk about a lot of really hard stuff that maybe, you know, about parenting and struggles and all that. And, um, and we have a lot of honest conversations with each other about just, you know, if you've ever parented an out of the box kids, like that sometimes like someone just needs to tell you like, Hey, so I'm going to leave the middle on this because I'm, I'm not going to put those little wood centers on. I didn't centers on. Um, I don't think we might. So, but she has like a little discount code for anyone who buys it, buys her membership, you know, if, if they want to, um, and she she's a nonprofit, so she they are um, her her mission is to help women get out of addiction and recovery, so and get into recovery. So oh, let's see. No, so Juanita is. Um, oh, did you did you sell your van? Did it? Did you get it sold, Cassie? This is a cute set. Yes, Sandy. It's a very cute set. Let me drop the link for this, guys, just so that you have it. If you want to go check her out, it's um, Consider the Fields. It is um, totally faith-based. Like, all of her shirts are faith-based. And um, Amy Five gets um, five off first membership.
Yeah, so this is her, and these are the canvas and Bella tees. Um, and, um, or Bella and canvas, however you say it. So guys, this is, we're just going to take all of this right off. And I'm showing you guys this. I usually peel them ahead of time. One, one the last two days have been crazy. But two, if you're new to me and you're new to my wood cutouts, I do not want you to paint the tape. I've had people like, okay, only one person, but someone on Etsy um, messaged me and she was like, I think your wood is falling apart and I'm really concerned. Like, this is just not the quality I expected. And she should, and I said, well, can you send me a picture? Thinking, you know, I mean, I don't know. Who, it wasn't like that when I sent it, but I was like, let me, see, let me see what's going on so I can fix it. And so she, she sent it to me and it was the, um, it was the tape. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I explained it to her and she was, um, so I just want you to know, don't paint the tape like you, and, um, also it's wood. And so you're going to see some natural variations. Sometimes the wood is a little darker. Or sometimes it's a little lighter. Sometimes it's multicolored. Like you get a vein through the wood, part of the natural beauty of it. Um, so, um, just want you guys to know there's a heart that goes on his little, like, um, on here, where's the heart? Um, and then, so yeah, let's see here. What was someone saying? <laughs> so, I mean, that is real. I mean, I find it funny. Like, and so now I have from that, I learned a very good lesson and I have a handout that is supposed to go in every package that has a, um, that has a, like, um, whatever you want to call it on it, um, wood mask so that it says, Hey, this is covered with wood mask. So at least if they read the handout, right. Um, okay. It's very possible that I lost my heart. Oh no, it's right there. Okay. Okay. This is, and this is, let's just talk about this y'all. And if you want to sprinkle, I would love it. We are still doing the jar. I've not drawn a name yet, but I'm drawing two at the end of the month. Um, so we're going to do double at the end of the month. I'm, I think I'm just going to draw two at the end of the month because the truth is I am too scattered to manage um, one in the middle and one at the end. Like, it's just me. So, oh, hey, Trish. So, yeah, this this set is really cute. Um, and can it be added to your box? Okay. Could it be added to your box? A whole set. You know what? I just really don't know if this whole set could go in a box. Um, like, oh man, I just don't know if it could. And I think that I, um, I would, I would just caution towards no, because I don't want to like have it. And then, yeah, I just think it's going to be too much to go in the box. It's possible, but I don't know. And then someone else told me to ship theirs in the box. And then I think I shipped it out anyway. It's just a lot to manage and keep track of. Oh, yay. Look at all of this. Woo. Yes. 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 Me too. So I am, guys. And just like bear with me as I catch up from like a sick kid this week and the migraine. Um I mean, I had to go up to school every day and give him like the cold medicine and blah, blah, blah. But um, I am going to, I have, a, I have a system for the bonus signs. Okay. So I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, but I have a system so that if you want both choices, you're going to be able to get it in your box as opposed to after. And I have a way for those of you who want to see it, to see it. And those of you who don't want to see it, won't see it. It is a stroke of genius on my part. Actually, Jennifer and I talked about it all the time. So um, until we worked it out, my strokes of genius usually come when I'm talking to my bestie. There she is. Okay, let's talk about the bee and how we're going to selectively weed to make sure that we don't have to spend an hour painting these tiny little lines and then just want to cry. Okay. So let's look at our B. We want his head to be black, right? So it's going to go black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Okay. So if I'm going to paint the black first, hypothetically, let's just say I am. I actually want to 
let me think. If the yellow goes over on the black, um, I, I want to paint the black first because it's going to, okay. So I'm going to peel only the sections that are going to be black, okay? So every other section. So for those of you who are like, oh my gosh, I don't want to, to deal with a mask, right? I've just given you a reason to love it. On top of that, you don't have to deal with this nasty stuff on your wood. <laughs> so, um, um, so yeah, but Leslie, I just, Leslie, I'm not going to like commit to adding anything to people's boxes because it's too much, it's too much crazy. Um, I wish that I could do that. But I've messed it up already. So the only things that I'm going to commit to putting in people's boxes extra are extra signs because that's manageable. But when you get into like holding orders and I've got or if like, you know, something, you know, it's just um, it's just too it's not manageable because those packing days are so insane and I need to keep it manageable so that as we get new people in, I can I can manage it. Right. And I'm not like crying because it, it does get to feel overwhelming. So um, I'm just, you, it's just going to have to be separate um, because I just, I cannot mentally manage all of those. Like, oh, this one's got to go in the box. This one gets shipped regularly with, with all the orders that come in way too much. I wish I had those kind of superpowers, but I really don't. All right. So let's think about this. Um, I'm going to separate my pieces like I always do. What do I want? White. I want this white. These are going to be white. This is going to be red. Um, it's just too, too many pieces. This is yellow. These are white. This is going to be white because it's a ruffle. This is going to be brown, maybe decor wax, black. So my colors are just this, guys. Yeah, I wish I had... Um, Hey, Sandy. I know. I wish I wish I had those superpowers. I just don't. It gets so overwhelming. Um, and then, you know, I start to have. Um, I start to get. Worried that I miss something. OK, and then always, like I tell you, make sure you have your your signs together before you paint to make sure you've got the right side up. Um, I'm going to do this in black. This is going to be white. This is white. This is yellow. This is white. And this is going to be silver. Okay. All righty. Thank you, Trish. Right. Well, and so it is. And, but I've got, um, yours though are like, big you can stack your big signs on top of each other i have a a certain size box and that's where it really gets tricky right because of it, what if it doesn't fit in the box right it's got then somebody shipped separately and um yeah it just gets it i i want to just be able to put that keep it to joyful crafting club extras right so if they ordered extras, everybody who ordered extras, if they ordered other stuff, they it's already been shipped out. And if they only ordered just the extra signs in that order, um, then those are going to go back in their boxes. But that's really all I can manage. Okay, so I'm going to use my paint pen. Yeah, you know what? The paint the, the tape method is really great. Um, and this is just my painter's pen, and I do have the black acrylic paint out, but I just decided I don't want to use it. So, um, okay, I do have my red aspen nails on, but I have on the Catherine Ballet Slipper. Don't buy the Catherine Ballet Slipper if you use red aspen. I, I just don't, I don't like it. The problem is that it's so light that you can see through and you see like splotches from the glue underneath and they, they look weird. So don't do it. Um, 
just mm, write that one down. If you're a red aspen wear, unless like that's okay with you. But every time I look at them, I think like they're dirty or there's something under them or something. I don't know. So I'm going to wear them until they're done. And then I'm not going to buy Catherine in the ballet slipper again. Um, I'm excited for you guys to get next month's box too. It's super cute. It's very, very cute. Um, it's very cute. And we are going to have to like think about unmasking our pieces um, <laughs> when we do them because there's some fun things going on in that box. Some super fun things. If you don't already have like a nice angle brush, a decent angle brush, might be a good thing to get. Um, also, the supply list, guys, just so you know, we, oh, we've got a couple people or several people, oh, I'm not even in the screen, who live, um, who are in the Joyful Crafting Club and they live quite a ways away from a craft store. And so instead of dropping the supply list on the, the, fifth like I did when the boxes went I'm going to drop it on the first um the other thing I'm going to do is so but it won't have pictures it'll just be a supply list and then the pictures will come later once you know so we don't ruin the surprise um so yeah that and then there was something else I'm going to do I was going to tell you about that but I forgot maybe I'll remember later um I know I've been working on them. They're really cute. They are really cute. I'm kind of wishing I had my turntable out, Leslie T. It's over. It's underneath over there. Um, okay. This is the Walmart Painters Marker, guys. This works really well. And this is the fine tip. They come in a couple different tips. Tammy's asking if I could polish over them. I don't think so. And like my whole reason for like not, um, for using red aspen is because it's so hard to keep my nails looking decent. I'm just giving this tape an extra push down. Um, so that, um, I'm hoping it doesn't bleed through. Um, I'm going super light. My new laser. Okay. Tammy W and Sandy are asking about the new laser. No, it's still like wrapped in the plastic in the room to the right of me. So the truth is they told me like when I ordered it five, five weeks at least. And it came in like two and a half weeks, three weeks. I mean, it was so, so I wasn't ready in my space. And so this all has you can't see it, but this over here, all of this area to the side has got to come out. We got to get the laser in and I've got to like reconfigure the space. And so while everything's cutting, that's what um, I'm going to work on moving things around this weekend and see what I can get organized. And then um, it'll take me a little bit to learn that new software because it's a different so if the Glowforge, those of you guys who are interested in a laser, the Glowforge is really very plug and play, meaning that you plug it in, you follow the Wi-Fi setup, you vent it out a window or out a wall somehow. And the software is very drag and drop and it's really simple to use. Okay. I'm going to set this aside so that, and here's the other thing I love about the tape, guys. I can just lift it up. Everything sticks and move it to the side. Um, let's do the white. So, um, I'm going to put the red right here so I don't lose it. It's, so it's a lot different than this. This is more of an industrial. So the Glowforge, I mean, they, they market, you know, it as a hobby and as a business tool. Um, but it's not an industrial Type laser, and this is more of a commercial or industrial type laser, um, because um, it just is. And so there's just the learning curve is a little different. And the so like 
the chiller is different. Um, it just the whole thing is just a little different um, in terms of the setup and the software. So it's going to take me a little bit. Hey, Amy P. Yeah, the paint pens. This is in the craft section. The painters paint pens. They're like two and a half bucks. Last time I bought them, two and a half bucks. So I have not tried the Hobby Lobby paint pens. Um, my white paint is like, I've been storing this upside down because it's almost gone, but I'm trying to get every last bit out. I do need the decor wax here in a minute. So yeah. Um, but we're just going to use a makeup wedge and we are going to, all right. Do that. Gina said, you've had, you have a glow forge. You've nothing but trouble. Okay. So I've not had, honestly, like I had mine for, and I, and I don't know like what, specific problems you've had um and i've heard some people say that they've had problems over and over mine i've had mine for three years probably and it was a great machine um just recently the um the printer head wouldn't always work um not wouldn't always work it would it would glitch and so i reached out to them and they I got a new printer head and that didn't work. And so the, the focuser was going out on my machine. And so I got um, a refurbished one, but they gave me an upgrade because they didn't have the same model I had. And it so far it's worked great, but it um, they're not able to do like super high capacity. Right. So, okay. So if you're at home and you're watching, um, let me know, like hit the heart button if you do tech crafting, like if you do silhouette or laser crafting or something like that. I want to see how many of you guys do that. Hit, get, hit the heart button if you do tech uh, tech crafting and hit the thumbs up button if you only do, um, if you do more like, I don't want to call it, you know, like paper, maybe you paint, but you don't cut it, that kind of thing. I'd like to get an idea of like how many of you guys do what. So we've got some, we've got some people that are more paper. We've got some people that are, so we've got kind of a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Hey, Deanna. So yeah. So I'm just, I'm going to get this with the decor wax, I think pretty good because I want to give it like more, I didn't do a lot of distressing on that be kind sign because I made, um, the signpost and the sign, well, I put the signpost together and the sign, um, at, in that group. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to go on forever and ever. Amen. So I think I'll distress this. Okay. Mm. Leslie, you're so funny. Okay. So you guys are more, yeah. I've seen a lot of people lately have been saying like, you know, you, you maybe have a cutting machine of some sort, but, um, but you're still like Tammy said, she's still learning. Um, okay. Kim has a good question. So Tammy's still learning. Oh, the signpost. The signposts are great. The signposts are great. The big one and the little one. I almost painted my face. No one would be surprised if I painted my face. They're awesome. They're so cute because it's like a, um, it's a constant. Like you can just change it out, add new things to it, switch it out. Um, it's, they're just awesome. So these are the ones guys where I left the paint. I mean the mask in the middle. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to go like this. Let's see. Have I ever done a dog tear tray? I have not done a dog tear tray yet, but I, um, have a running list of things people want. Um, and I've just got to get them. Jimmy wants houses. So, and then 
Kim, not you, Kim, another Kim wants, um, oh, your husband has a laser. Oh, I love my laser. Um, what does he cut, Deanna? Um, the other Kim asked for these farm animals, Highland cows. So that's on the list. And then I've got, um, I can put dogs on the list because I love dogs and I don't have a dog one yet, but I'm just going to shake. I'm going to grab my silver marker. Um, this has got to be white too. I'm still a little bit like from the migraine yesterday, guys, I'm not like 100%. So if I seem a little off, I'm just, they're exhausting. I don't know if you guys get them, but they're exhausting. Um, yeah. So you have a, a Highland cow. Um, it's like a farm animal with a Highland cow thing in it. And then somebody asked to add a horse to that set. And that set doesn't have a horse, but I, I've got a horse that will go with it. And so I'm going to do all of those. And I have, okay, I've been planning on a, a barnyard set because Dollar Tree has this super cute, like, um, they have these super cute farm animal things. So we're going to do some fun stuff around that. Okay. I don't care if this is perfect because I'm going to sand it and I'm going to stress it. So we're not going for perfect, guys. Sharpies are your friends. <laughs> um, and we're just going to go like this. Sharpies are your friends, guys. So do not, like, if you've got Sharpies, I just, they don't work great for everything. Um, but the silver Sharpies are amazing. And then you don't have to mess around with the silver paint. If you don't have it, it's quick and simple and it's done. This is going to be, let's paint this. The honey. Um, I know Jennifer. So Jennifer hates Sharpies. She's like, I hate them. I hate them. I know, but you do signs and I do small things. And when you're doing like a hundred tiny little ornaments, um, I would hate Sharpies if I was doing big things too. But when you're doing like a hundred tiny ornaments and you have to paint a cardinal on each one, Sharpies are your friends. I'm just saying you will not hate them. You will not hate them. So guys, I am all about, if you always have requests and there's something you want, let me know because that I'm all about that. You know, Jimmy is, um, she's, she's next with the houses. She's been asking for the houses since December. The houses are a labor of love because like they're one of those slotted, um, they all stand in a row and, um, my biggest problem with the houses is I've not figured out how to, there's like different pieces. So I haven't figured that out in terms of how to, how do you, how do you like put that together in a package? I think it's just going to have to be like, you pick which little house goes with which. And I don't know. That is my biggest predicament with the houses because there's like a four, like you can have three houses, you can have four houses, you can have five houses. You know, and then you can personalize like one says party of five and one says, so if, if someone's ordering, so yeah, that is my biggest predicament with houses, but they are crazy cute. Little roofs and all kinds of things that go on with them. Okay. This is that, um, honey marigold. What is this? King's gold from apple barrel. Um, it does not. Oh, Hey, Teresa. Yeah. Migraine. Um, it, you kind of do are coming out of a fog for a little bit when they're bad. If I catch it, okay, if I catch it, but like right when I know it's starting, I'm with that, whatever that stuff is that the doctor has, like I can snap out of it and I'm fine. But, but I woke up like that. And when I wake up like that, I'm already like full on in pain and I just don't catch it. Then that's when it's really bad. Okay. So this honey is going to get the words glued on. The only place where I'm going to have like something showing are those little, those little dashes right there. So I'm just taking my tool because I want to clean this one out a little bit. This is a tool from the $1.25 store guys. 
And all I'm doing is just putting it where I slop the paint in here and just kind of scraping that out and it comes right out, okay? So um, you could use any little sharp thing. I don't know, I was just down here painting one day and I got paint in places I didn't want it and I was like, how am I gonna fix it? It was really mostly out of laziness and perfectionism because I wasn't gonna sell it like that. And I also wasn't gonna start over. So I had to figure out a way to fix it. So I found this tool. So that is the truth about that. Oh, Tammy, you like houses and you like the bees. Beach stuff. So I have a boat tray, a lake tray. Um, I have a lake tray. So like DM them to me or um, don't text it. Okay, here's the thing about the text list. The thing about texting is like once I open that that thing, it goes away. I mean, it just, I mean, it's lost in a sea of texts. So DM it to me and I'll put it on a list if you have a request. Um, but yeah, they have, I have a, a lake tray that I did recently. And then um, we have, yeah, this, the, the beach, I have a flamingo. I have a beach life one. I haven't cut it yet, but I have it. Okay. The new laser, Jimmy, I just, um, it's still wrapped up in plastic. I've not gotten there yet. Let's go in because it just is like, I don't know how to use the software. I've got to rearrange my whole space over here to the left of me. So I'm just going to take this guys. I'm going to peel this off and see it's nice and clean. Let's hope I'm not fibbing here. Oh, see? So th the black didn't go under the tape, which is really good. Yeah, the beach stuff is really popular. So if you don't, let me ask you a question while we're talking about the beach. Because I wondered about this. Like if you don't have a beach house and you don't live on the beach and you don't live near water, do you, do you want to put up a beach tray? That is a thought I had because I'm, um, my brain is very practical and I'm like, well, I don't live near the beach. I might do like a cabin or a camping because I love to camp, but maybe it's just that you love the beach. That could be it, right? You love the beach. This is not the brush I want, but I do not have a nice angle brush like clean like I told you to have ready. So I'm paying the consequences. And I'm going to stroll through it. It symbolizes summer. Yeah, I know. And I'm like so practical. I'm like, I would put up a camping or a cabin or, a, you know, in the summer to make me think about camping. These we legitimately canceled our vacation because they were supposed to start our pool and they were going to be building the pool. And now it doesn't, it, they, they haven't started yet. And so we were going to go back up to Maine and camp in Maine again. And I, uh, but, and it's just not, I mean, there's still hope. If we all pray really hard. We might be able to get everything taken care of. We have um, my oldest that has special needs, Nate. The summers are super hard for him. So see, see how easy that is? He um, cries a lot because having that school structure is so helpful for him. And then the summers are just, the other two are like running around and they're playing outside and they're like just glad that they didn't have to go to school. And Nate's, because last summer was the first summer that he, um, how did I even get on this topic? that he, um, my brain, I'm sorry, but that he was um, not, like I homeschooled him before. So we did the year round homeschool model where we would take like a week off and go on vacation or take a week off and do stuff around the house from time to time, right? I built it into our overall school calendar, but he never had three months off. And so I was not prepared last summer because he did half of fourth grade last year in the public school and then was out for summer and he cried for three weeks. And so Joe and I decided like, we've got to get a pool because um, like even in the middle of the school week, he'll come home and be like, I have to go swimming. Like we have a membership at the, at the rec center for the indoor pool. And so, you know, Joe will take him there like on after school and let him swim some nights um, just because it's so good for him. And so put the pool on your prayer list. <laughs> for our sanity this summer because it's so hard for him. I mean, like it's just, 
it's just, it is so hard and it's hard for everybody else, right? Because it's really hard to provide that kind of structure when you work and you have three kids and the kids have different activities and all the things. So, okay. You guys do like the beach. Sandy. Yeah, I know. See, like, I'm not a beach person either. Like my family goes to, um, my mom, like they go to, oh, this is a whole nother story. Okay. So they go to like Destin and they've been, we've been doing it for a while. Like when the kids were little and when I was homeschooling, it was no big deal. And they would go like the end of April or whatever. But last year when the kids were in school, they just started in January, like, cause I'd homeschooled until then. And then they started in January. And so I was like, I can't, I can't take them out of school in April for a week. Like they've, it's just no. So, and plus with my kiddo that has special needs, like, look at, I can't do that. Right. Well, they're going in May and like, I just, so we're not going, like, I just cannot take him out of school. And I don't think that anyone, anyway, they did not change it because it, Nate just, it would be a disaster to take him out of school for a week in the beginning of May. And so we are not going to the beach, but we're not, Joe and I would not choose a vacation at the beach. We would, we would go camping. Yes. The water is so calming. Yeah, I know. I, um, so I, uh, I absolutely, we love to camp. I love to camp. I love um, the trees. I love the campfire. When we went in Maine, we were a mile from Goose Goose Rocks Beach, Goose Goose something beach, the Goose Beach. I don't know. And we rode our bikes there, and it was awesome. But um, and so we got the beach, but we also got to camp. And you know the kids love the beach. Okay, so there's my bee. I'm gonna leave him. Leave him be. We're moving kind of fast. Um, I, yeah, I, I really, when we moved here, our house wasn't ready. So we camped in Delaware, um, just at a local campground for a month waiting for the house so we could move in. We, it was not being built. It was already built. We were just waiting for the other people to move out. And, um, I really, I love it. I love it. So my kids really like the beach. Joe and I like Galveston and I know Texans, a lot of times are there, they're like hot and cold on Galveston. But um, the reason we like Galveston is because there's that 10 mile um walkway if you've ever been there um there's a 10 mile walkway where you can see the beach from anywhere and you go other like tourist type places and they have everything along the beach so built up that you can't see the ocean and that's why i love galveston so i legitimately did not do a good job on Okay, I'm going to blame Joe because he usually, if I let it go long enough, will come and wash my brushes. <laughs> That's horrible, isn't it? But there's like, I hate to wash brushes. And so I just leave it and eventually he comes down and does it. I leave him soaking. Um, yeah, we... We've had Gina, we also have had, she says, so Gina's saying she loves camping. Um, we were going to camp at Myrtle Beach this, um, at Myrtle Beach State Park. Like we like to go to check out the state parks, but, um, spring break was just really crazy for us this year and we did not go. Um, and plus the weather was supposed to be super cold that week. And we just, I don't know, I think that was part of the determined, but we were just so busy. And the kids actually enjoyed being at home over spring break. I mean, strangely, they were like, I think they just needed some downtime. Nate even did well. Um, so bye, Miss Leslie. Um, but we, um, 
but we, we do, I love it. And, um, we'll get to go back. The hardest thing we have right now with the stage of life our kids are in is that their weekends are so busy with scouting and um, sports that it's hard to get away. And so one of the things that we were looking at was there's a place where you can leave your trailer all summer and you pay, I don't know what you pay, X number of dollars if you get in the lottery. And then you can just drive there on Friday And then you can come back into town. It's not far, you know, you can come back into town for the weekend or for the events and then go back to your camper. And that's probably what we're going to have to do. But um, let me see. We're having trouble with the focus today. Does anybody else feel like it's not? There we go. That's better. Maybe. There we go. Just ignore my janky setup. Okay, see this one's sloppy. Just, you know, ignore it. We'll fix it. So anyway, um, it's, but we we were we decided against doing it this year, like even attempting to get our names in the lottery because we were like, we're building the pool and it's just so crazy. Um, but I don't know. We're kind of at a standstill with that. Let's see. Oh my gosh, your best friend just got a new, you're staying in it for your girl's trip. So what kind of camper did she get? That is fun. You know what? I would love to take a girl's trip, a camping girl's trip. The only thing that maybe I would not like is the backup by myself. We do have a camera and I usually drive when we take our trailer because Joe works. So, um, He's usually on the phone or emailing the whole time. And so I drive. Okay. Hunting. Okay. I haven't been there. We haven't, we haven't. So we were just, I wonder how far south that is of Myrtle Beach because we were just kind of trying to get somewhere within a two days drive with a trailer. Cause you know, you got a 33 foot trailer behind you. It takes a little while. I'm going to leave those be. It takes a little bit of time. So the, we have two more things to paint and then we're going to distress and then we're going to assemble. Let me get this. The decor wax. Um, I really love the bees. Um, we're going to paint this. We're going to paint this. Okay. I'm going to put this on tape just so I don't lose it. Oh, I know, Jennifer, we should. So it took us three, I'm trying to think. It took us three days to get down from Texas to Ohio. We started and we stopped in um, Arkansas day one, which was a lot of fun. And then day two, we were in Tennessee. And then day three, we got to Ohio. Um, oh, that is the, the That is the mask on that side right there. Do not paint the mask. I didn't peel it off. Um, so I feel like Myrtle Beach, when I we went as a kid and it was different, it kind of needs some. Nope, that is not. That's just the wood. Okay. They do need some um, updating in certain areas, I think. Some places are a little... They have that one end that's just not been super maintained well. Okay, so. All right. The Cinco de Mayo, or let's talk about. Your husband drives. So, no, the reason I, I drive is so for my sanity because he will legitimately, and it's not, it, it's not that he just, he, he has to work. Like, Joe has never, okay, the least amount of work we've ever done while we were traveling was when we went to Disney and we got there, guys. Legitimately, we got there, unpacked the first day. We didn't have park tickets the first day. Let me just say that. But um, we unpacked and Okay, I'm just, look, I do this, guys, to save, so you can still use it. Just cut the painted end off and put it in your, like, your little trash pile. Um, so, 
we got there and Joe and I sat down and worked for three hours. And then, you know, it was just kind of a little stuff here and there after that. But we, that's the least amount of time we've ever worked on a vacation. I mean, and so Joe, his job requires, he's mostly on the phone all day long. I mean, that's just kind of how, how he rolls. If you wanted to guys, you, I think you could go back in here with like a, like a darker brown, um, pen to make that. I might do that. We'll see what we have, but yeah, I mean, and for a long time, like now I would really like to be able to like schedule social media posts, but I get sick, like car sick real easily. Um, outdoor mountain. Yes. The mountains oh, cabin. Gail, that's what I want to do. Um, and you know, it's good for the kids. Kids need to be out in the, out in the, um, nature disconnected, no devices run around playing. And I, I, I'm not saying devices are bad because I think there's a lot of good that comes from our devices, but that's one of the reasons we love Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. They get out, they're disconnected. They're like playing frisbee with the top of their sit upon. So you want to sit upon is like a five gallon bucket with a cushion on the top, you know, and they're doing all kinds of fun stuff and they're not like encumbered by, I have to like up level my Pokemon, you know? Teresa, what have you been painting lately, friend? Lots of stuff. Um, so where did I live in Texas? Kim Carroll. Um, I, when I initially moved there, I moved to Carrollton and then I bought a little house in North Carrollton by, um, by the hospital up there. Um, on, it was Josie by, oh, what is that place called? Um, there's a hospital, a, something ranch, Josie ranch. I don't know. It was like, um, somewhere right there. And then it was like north up by 121 so if you went just north from my house you'd hit 121 and i was on off of josie lane so josie lane and 121 in Carrollton. and then um joe and i built a house up in Carrollton, up in prosper which is an hour north of um, dallas proper um and when we moved there there was nothing but cows and walmart and eight years later the traffic was crazy and there was every single thing you could imagine and so where we live now, it, it's so funny because people are like, oh my gosh, you live in Dublin. The traffic is so bad. And I'm like, I've never seen bad traffic in Dublin. I mean, they just, just Ohio and Columbus, even though it's the capital and it's a good sized city, they're, it's just so different than, I mean, you just don't have the, the, the people and the volume and the area I'm in specifically is, is been here for a long time. Our house is 30 years old. I think it was built in 91. And so things are mostly built up around here. There's no land. And so, oops, this is why you don't want to take like your dirty um, sandpaper and sand your wood with it. But um, it's just built up. So there's not a lot of construction around here specifically. Um, there is north of here, like Lewis Center is booming. But it's still, the traffic is nothing like Dallas. <laughs> Joe and I called it the mix master. Like when you're going south on 75 and there's 35 and there's like 37 different branches going all different ways. And then, oh my gosh, when Nate was little, we were down in that area like eight times a week for therapy. And I, when I say eight times a week, we, we would have multiple appointments in one day, but we were down there four to five days a week for eight appointments. And oh my gosh, you get stuck with little kids and the traffic on the mix master. Ugh. But I do love Dallas. I'm, I'm going back in June for a trip. I'm going to see Jennifer then. And, um, and, and some of the girls from my business group. And I told Joe, I might, I don't know. I might, I might like cry and might try and buy a house. 
I'm not, I'm just, I don't know. I, I, where we are is really good for our kids, but I, I built my heart belongs in Dallas. Okay. Round rock. Yep. 635. I know. So you guys, who's coming Friday night, a week from today, we're doing a crafting fiesta. I did get a shirt. Um, we are just going to do some fun crafting. I know we talked about last time when we were doing it, shipping kits, but Jennifer and I realized like we looked at the calendar and we did talk about it right away. We were like, okay, how can we make this happen? And we were like, mm, I don't think we can because um, the, the end of both of our months are super busy and she and I are like, we have our husbands that help, but we um, don't have a staff that works in house. And so um, we decided instead that we're going to do some fun printable stuff and give you guys some stuff that what, what I'm going to do is find like some maybe wood cutouts from Walmart or something where we can do some fun printables that are seen that way. Um, or even something that I feel like might be a universal fit that if you wanted to grab the printable and the, the, the wood cut out and craft with the printable with us, you could. Um, I just have to figure that piece out. So I'm thinking early next week um, and I might try and make some cactus earrings. Because some of you guys have been chatting with me on DMs about earrings, earring making. And I found a cute cactus earring file, and I thought that would be really cute to make. So, I don't know. Jennifer, do you have anything to add about the Fiesta? Um, it grows legitimately like, okay, I'm, I have a cute little like navy shirt with like this like it's probably not authentic, but like, like, um, embroidery and just really celebrating. Like, I mean, besides the, the amazing food contributions, just the, the independence piece of that. Right. And how much we all love and appreciate all of the things that, um, that Mexico has added to our United States heritage, you know, um, Maybe you might p paint a cactus attachment. Ooh, that would be cute. So I'm going to make the cactus earrings. I don't know when. And if, if they really work, I'll show them to you. They're going to be little and tiny to cut because they're just, you know, and I have the posts. They're like danglies. And so those might be something that I post to hopefully if I can get them. <laughs> and they would just ship quick and easy because they're little to cut. Um yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking for that. Um, because that way we do want to, okay, Jennifer and I legitimately want to do like a workshop with you guys where you can craft along with us, but we want it to be something that we can actually manage and is going to be successful and you're not getting all of your stuff the Monday after, right? We want you to have it ahead of time. So we're talking about how we can make that work. And um, we're just, we just both were saying how how special we feel that you guys wanted to, to do that and that it was your idea and that you wanted, you know, to craft along with us. And so we're going to come up with maybe something. Um, and we'll we'll get that out to you ahead of time. Understanding, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, for a craft along, we'll plan ahead and it'll be something um if you guys have ideas, if you're like, hey, I would really like to do this for a craft along, might shoot me the DM. I mean, leave it here and shoot me the DM. If you leave it here, I just promise you I have a 50-50% chance that I will remember it because it's impossible to go back and find the comments, okay? <laughs> but if you um if you leave it here. If you shoot me a DM, I will add it in my notes under my creative collab notes I have in my digital planner and Jennifer and I will talk about it. So um, what we I'd like to do a combination of like, you know, painting wood cutouts and her hand lettering too, because her hand lettering is so good. Even if it's, you know, a... Um, even if it's a, like a traceable or something, you know, or like using, I don't know, but we would love ideas. If you have like, Hey, I'd like to make this piece of decor for my home or, Hey, I need a mantle sign or Hey, what, whatever you're thinking, 
Like seriously, that's what we're here for. Okay. So, um, we are pretty much sanded. I kind of wonder about this. I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, I don't like these markers, these Thule art markers. I mean, they're okay. The problem with these markers is they're they splatter, and I'm not super thrilled. I know Jennifer, she's explaining our brains. Um, these were great on paper, cardboard, but the wood grain can make them splatter. I'm not even sure this is a good idea. Yes. Not only do we, it's like, um, oh yeah. I just want this part to look a little darker so that it doesn't look completely even. See that? That's what I wanted. See how that looks a little darker? Um, so yeah, not only, they, so it's so funny. What, Jennifer left me a message last night and she's like, I'm just leaving this message to tell you. I know I'm supposed to tell you something and I can't remember what it is. But I'm going to really think hard about what I was going to tell you. And then I'm going to come back and tell you. So, I mean, that's just kind of um, how it rolls around here. I just kind of want it to look a little darker so that there's some variation. I'm not even sure that this is a, a real technique or a thing. Um, but it looks too fake. Just all as one. Um, so y'all, Joe did go this morning and get me a bunch of wood, which I love him for that. He brought it back. It's all ready to go. Um, I think this is going to be okay. This is not a real te technique at all, but see, it, I'm not sure. I'm going to sand it too when I'm done and see what it looks like. Um, Juanita. Yeah, Gail, this is going to be on my on my website. I, I just didn't get it listed. I've got a sick kiddo and I had a migraine yesterday. So I'm on the like, I'm on this, this the, the catch up track today. And I did, um, I had several hours of deliverables for our construction company yesterday too. Um, there are a few things I still do, and um, it's something I had to get done yesterday. I still do our billing um, because our we have to do what's called a pay app. I don't know if anyone knows AIP. And they're just they're just they can be complicated, and they have to be right, and they have to get approved. And so, um, and. Yeah, I like this a little better because it just gives it a little variation. Um, and we had our insurance policy renewal. So fun. Not really, but she's super nice. It's just like answering a lot of boring questions. That's I like that a lot better than just the plain um, the plain brown. I, I almost feel like I should have maybe gone with like a dark brown instead of a black, but... I like that a whole lot better. And I think once I seal it, it'll look better too. Um, yes, Juanita, you, I don't know if I answered your question about the gnomes. Um, the gnomes. Um, yeah. So I neglected to post the... St. Patrick's Day and Easter gnome attachments. So anyone who already owns the gnomes, and I have their like their names, I have a list of them. Um, they are getting the gnome. I'm just going to mail those for free because I screwed up. I dropped the ball and I, I said, hey, that is, you know, that's what I had committed to. And things got crazy and busy around here. So I'm going to, um, and I also could not get, um, I just, finally got the thin, thin wood because you need a different thickness of wood for those so that they don't fall over. So, oh, that's looking cute. Yes, the insurance. Oh, 
Um, oh no, what's going on, Gail? What's going on with you? Tell me. I didn't know you were waiting a procedure. We will definitely pray for you, lady. I'm sorry about it. And you don't have to tell us everything. Um, yeah. So, Timmy the Gnomes, like, hold on. Where's the, my boy, I don't know where my other gnome is. So, oh, here it is. So, yeah, there's the, and plus the listing is all, I've got to fix the listing. It's not, it's, it's not easy to understand. So, like, the gnomes, like, this is what I mean. So this is the Valentine's Day and there's a, this is the boy and this is the girl in the farmhouse. So there's a farmhouse for the boy and the girl. There's a Valentine's for the boy and the girl. And then I just didn't get the St. Patrick's, but yeah, they're interchangeable. So like once you paint the base and I send the Velcro with it, the Velcro dots, you just switch them out. And then if you're like a gnome fan, you can, um, You can have them up all year round. Aren't they cute? I mean, and the little tiny pieces are just so quick and easy to paint. So it's a great attachment piece. I just, I just fell short on getting them done. And, and I, I'm going to get those all sent out with little apology notes. Oh, you had a hip replacement. Oh, Gail, that's a lot. You know what? Those those replacements are a, are a lot of work. So yeah, they're on my the, the the listing. And so let's go back to Gail. Here's what I know, though. Like we have a big, powerful God, and um, and sometimes we go through these really hard times, and sometimes we we struggle with things that don't make sense, right? And I've been there. A gazillion times, not with this particular situation, but you know, with other situations with my kids, with my son who has special needs. And like, what I know is in the end, right. Somehow, some way, like God always comes out triumphant and he had a plan and there was a reason we will definitely keep you in our prayers for continued healing and that, <clears throat> you get that feeling back in your leg and that you're mobile and you can move around and do all the things and you feel amazing, you know, because that's what we want for you. And I know that's what he wants for you too. Right. So I'm sorry that's going on because it's not, it is not fun. It is not. Um, <clears throat> sometimes being in that Valley and in, in the hard part, it's the worst, right? Because you just sometimes you just can't see your way out of it. I've been there for years with my son, honestly. It just, no, I'm not there now, but I was there for a long time with things with him. And I just could not see the other side of it, you know, because he couldn't even talk. I, I just couldn't see the other side of it. And, um, you know, there, it's still like a challenge. But um, I think one of the biggest things I've learned is like compassion for people who are struggling and, you know, knowing like there's, there's a, that there is, it strengthened my faith, honestly, because, because looking back, I can see all of the things and like why my life was the way it was so that now today I can be the mom that I am for him, you know? Um, so, Yeah. Yes. Yes, absolutely. We do. Amen. So, um, yeah, thank you ladies too, for hopping on and just covering her in prayer because I love that we have a community where we can do that, you know, and you can show up and craft and you can talk about that because it's hard. It is hard. And sometimes too, in our busy, crazy life, like this is our connection to each other and you have to have like a, a safe space and a community and people that that you know even if they're on the other side of the country or three hours away and you know you only are going to see them here on you know online 
but that they're your people and that they'll pray for you and, you know, and that you can ask for that. We need that because our lives today are so, I have neighbors I never see, you know, and our world didn't used to be like that. It used to be like, you know what, you came home, you went to the neighbor's house, you ran around, we were inside of each other's houses all, all afternoon and we didn't come inside and all the moms watched everybody's kids. It's just not like that anymore, you know, and I think that we can get isolated and closed off. And I just am so grateful that we have this, this great, um, this great community where we can come and be together and get some girl time and do something fun and creative and get filled up and then we can go do our life. Right. So, yes, you guys are awesome. I know. And sometimes you don't even, you're not even sure if you can say God is good. You know what I mean? Because you just never know what people are just, I don't know. They're so, they can be so anyway, but we are praying for you and just keep us updated. Okay. I'm kind of going for it with this guys. I kind of want a super aged look on this just to see how it goes. Um, Yeah, we just, we just, it's one of the reasons my friend Tara, like some of the conversations we've had around parenting, they're just they're like hard conversations, you know, but you, you get, and Jennifer, like they're hard conversations. Like some of the stuff I've told her about what goes on with my son and the struggles we're having, you know, but like, I know she's always there to like lift me up. And someday when we get to a place where I can talk about all of it, I will tell you guys all the deeds. We are not there yet, not because anything bad is happening, just because it's like a process. But um, he's it, it's all good. He's going to be okay. So, yeah. Um, it's just really good to have people. So, we and we also need to be kind, right, to everyone, regardless of what they believe. We, we, we be kind. We be like Jesus. Okay. That's a bad joke. <laughs> but that's what, that was a bad, um, that was bad, but I did say it. So yeah. Oh no. Oh, Gina, Gina, Gina. <sighs> I'll pray for him too. You know, my husband had, um, Girl, I know what that's, I know, like, I'm probably going to cry. So Nate was under anesthesia, like seven or eight times before he was, um, my oldest, before he was six, like when he was six is the last time he's been under anesthesia. And I mean, that is as a parent, that is hard. And we were, we didn't have any family around us. And this is the truth. <laughs> so, um, so I went by myself and Joe stayed home with Luke. I mean, Gabe wasn't born yet. And, and once Joe had missed so much work that he had to go because there was a meeting he had to be in. And so the neighbor watched Luke. I took Nate to have surgery. And, um, and that's what it was. So I am feeling for them right now and you and your family because that is hard. It is hard. Like no one came to help me. And Joe, no one. <laughs> and um, our neighbors, our neighbors we made some friends in Texas who showed up. But. Like I was, they would come out into the waiting room and then they'd be like, Mrs. Green, isn't anyone with you? I'm like, no, it's just me. Let's go. You know? So, and it's why Joe and I are like, so the way we are, why he's like my best friend and my person forever and ever. Amen. Because when, when, um, Nate had to have a surgery where they, um, drilled in his head and tested his brain pressure, um, Joe's sister flew in for that. Um, and his mom would have come to that, but she had cancer. And so, um, she could not travel at the time. So for her own health and it just killed her that she couldn't be there, but she, that's a lot of the reason why she couldn't come. Joe's mom, she was just too sick. So, but Joe had leg, pro oh gosh, I don't know if I should tell this about Joe. Well, it's all right. He doesn't, he's past it, but he had leg prothesis as a kid and he was in a, um, he was in a body cast from his hips down. And, um, I mean, he still remembers that, you know, but his, it gave his hip, you know, the doctor said he may never walk, but he got out of there and then he, um, was like first place in cross country. So 
God is, um, he works miracles for us. All right. I'm going to sand those up and we're going to put these together. So yeah, he does work miracles. I will finish this tray, guys. Um, the other pieces and I'll post the finished pictures. I've just got to, I'm not doing all of them today. One, because I talk too much. And two, because I've got to cut the, um, i got to get cutting on our joyful crafting boxes. So yeah, aren't they cute? And so the flat, so So yeah, um, I just decided I don't really think that you need all these little like centers. It's just a pain, and it kind of looks weird, right? Like I just the little centers are are they're too much. It looks so much better like this, and I like them aged because I wanted this one to look funky. Yeah, okay. I did clean my stupid. Okay, so where are we? Where are we? I'm going to age this. So, yeah. Um, all right, girly girls. So, yes. Oh, yeah, you are lucky. I'll tell you what. And they are lucky to have you. I'll tell you what. Someone who's going to like... Because... I don't know. It was just different for us. We had some great friends in Texas. My neighbor, Raquel, I mean, Rochelle, Raquel, R-A-C-Q-U-H-E-L-L-E. -E. Um, she, uh, she was a godsend. I mean, and so were our friends, Chris and Doug. And you want to talk about being in the hands and feet of Jesus. Those guys, Joe would be out of town for like, Joe traveled 90% too. <laughs> so he would be out of town and they would have me and the kids over for dinner and have us over for swimming and all the things just so that, you know, they take something off my plate or they would like get, um, once they got Joe, uh, like a, there was this like really great foot massage place in Prosper. They got him a foot massage when I was out of town for three weeks once. And they took the kids and told him like, go, go do something, get some dinner, go get, get a foot massage and then come back. I mean, we got, we were lucky with our friends. I will say that, but that was, we did not have. Okay. What do you guys, I'm thinking maybe a little more aging. Um, but yeah, I mean, so that is why we need our people here. We need some community. We need um, friends. We need to always be kind because you just don't know what anyone else is struggling through, ladies. So... Um, woohoo, it's looking so cute. Oh man, I did do that. I put it too high. Okay. All righty. Yeah, Tammy, they were, Tammy. Royer, yes, they were the good, the best, the best of the best, you know. Um, so I'm being picky. <clears throat> um, Yeah, you just, we're, we have great neighbors here too, but some of my, you just don't see, but the ones across the street from us, um, like they, oh my gosh, our kids play together all the time and they're like the best people. Okay. I really like this, this color gold for this in particular. Um, I just, I really do. And that's just kind of how I feel about it. All right. I'm going to move all this out of the way and we are going to start putting things together. 
And this is probably my favorite part of this is that you just throw this out. Oh, the only thing I have left to sand is this. Bye, Jennifer. I'll chat with you later. This is, excuse me, this is just um, King's Gold from Apple Barrel. It's a mat. Um, it's like 69 cents. The coverage is not going to be super great on the first coat. And so it's going to be more like a, like a stain. Do not put it on with baby wipes unless you want just a very, very like, um, like a very, very light coat. Right. Um, but I would suggest using a brush or makeup wedges and you're probably going to want a couple coats unless you can mine still looks stainy after a couple coats which is fine i wanted that that more of that look it is not a complete coverage paint I mean, you're gonna need multiple coats with that color and they're just not you know it's it's a so plaid makes it it's the same company that makes folk art it's just a different quality right so this is a little um it's still made by a good company, right? They're just, they're their entry level low dollar paints, right? They're like, like I said, 69 cents. Okay. Um, yeah, your parents and your husband. Yep. I, I know, like we just, I'll tell you, it's just, we don't always have the same, and which is okay. Like I, Joe and I are, um, we are mind melded because of it, right? I mean, we are the best friends. So I'm just laying this out, guys, so that I know um, I've got everything painted on the right side. And so that, what size do I want to put on here? And I'll put this here. Okay. And so that I know I've got everything laid out on painted on the right side and everything's ready to glue. Um, I want you to get in the habit of doing that with your mini signs. It might seem like extra work and it might seem like a pain to do. But um, if you start gluing, oh gosh, this is just going to light that area better so you can see it. But you're also going to, I'm also going to look angelic like. So we'll just try not to lean in. Um, I want you to get in the habit of doing that because it's going to make your assembly go faster and you're going to make less mistakes. Okay. So, and that is, you don't want to spend all this time painting and then, and then, and then, and then realize that I, okay, I do love that little heart on there though. And then realize that, um, it's wrong. So yeah, this will be up tonight, guys. I will text you when it's, when it's ready. Um. I have um, some extra of this ribbon, which is going to go in this tray. I don't have a ton of it, but I have a limited number of kits that I can add this ribbon to. I like to do that when I can, but I'll list it as like with ribbon. And then once the ribbon sold out, I won't have any more ribbon. Um, but because um, it, it's going to be the same, the same price. It's just I like to do that when I can, when I have extra for you. Okay. Um, I think I'll do that. And then this, um, this is why I wanted to age those flowers so that they kind of stick out a little bit. Cause this back is white too. And I honestly could probably, okay. This also gives you a visual on your sign because individually I look at it and I think, oh, I've got this all painted and I'm super happy with it. Ooh. Joe knows. Jennifer, thank goodness Jennifer's not here to laugh. If I don't spill something once every time on a live, she's probably still watching. If I don't spill something at least once, like we know that we're like, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, she's probably cracking up somewhere. I'm glad I didn't do it. She, had, oh, okay. I'm going to add a little more here because I want a little more aging right in this area. This decor wax, guys, a little goes a long way, so be careful with it. 
I'm glad y'all. Yeah, I know. I've just built something once. We, we've got to keep it real. At least it didn't like soak into my wood. Ah. I have spilled on this wood though. And since it's wood and not MDF, it usually is not a problem. But y'all, oh, you know that I've got a, a, the, the clumsy factor is real. I could never make it like on as like a TV anchor or something because there would just be too many things flying everywhere. Yeah, so Gail's saying um, she tells herself to slow down. Yeah, because you think, oh, yeah, like, we're good to go. We're good to go. And you, But but you see it and you put it together and you're like, mm, I'm not quite happy with it. So sometimes I'm overly fussy and then sometimes I'm just, I put it together and look at it and think, mm, I'm not super thrilled. If you're just crafting with me for the first time, y'all, um, oh, love, I love you guys too. You guys are the best. Thank you. I know. No perfect people allowed. If you are perfect, craft with someone else because you're going to make me look bad. Um, but th this just, um, yeah, you will make me look so bad because I am so far from any of those things. Okay, the honeycomb. I think I'm only going to use... I think that's better. I'll put the bee kind of right there. I can't decide. Like, I kind of need to balance it out because mm -mm, that one up there. We can also put the bee. Nope, the bee has got to go. I mean, you could, this could go here. Mm -mm. This is the wings and the words. Okay, we're supposed to make a decision. But I do think I want the bigger flower here. And I may not. I don't know. I might like it on that one. Put my flowers together. Hmm. I don't know. Let me try ahead and thought this part out. I kind of like it off the sign a little bit. What do you guys think? Because I have the littler one too. The big one needs to go up here. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to put those two on there. I don't know about the rest. On the B. You guys like it on the B butt? That might be what we'll do. I think that gives us three things outside of the letters. And that's kind of when you add that fourth thing, it threw it off. But putting the flower there gives you three things. And I like that. Okay. All right. So I also did not clean my spray nozzle. No one is surprised. If you craft with me often, you know, like this is a, this is a thing. The spray nozzle is not clean. So I'm going to put a bow on that. So that's going to go last. Let me put this here and we'll start with the honey pot. Um, I know Leslie. Leslie's like, I always clean my spray nozzle. And I'm like, yeah, I never clean my spray nozzle until it clogs. I'm like, I just don't, I forget to do it. And then it, until it's clogged or before I use it. And then I'm like, oh yeah. Okay. All right. So that is, oh my gosh. Okay. I love it. Okay. And then, oh, now I remember what I was going to tell you. Joyful crafters. I am going to tell you what I am going to, um, like, remember last time it took us like quite a while to get through the tray. And so we talked about solutions for that. And I think the solution that everybody liked the best was pre-painting some of the signs. So I will tell you what I'm going to pre-paint. 
before the paint party, just so you know. And so if you want to pre-paint, you can, but I'm, I'll probably like base coat the signs that are simple. So, okay. And so if you have the Loctite, I know. Yeah, Gina, you're right. Let Joe do it. I know. He, um, how cute that is. Um, this is sometimes with these tiny pieces, the Loctite, where you don't have to worry about an exact placement. The Loctite is really good. Um, I think it's trickier on lettering, especially thin lettering, right? Okay, I'm going to come back and do this. I do really like that on there now. I wasn't sure when I started, but I like that that variation in the, what is this thing called? A honey dipper? Does anybody know the official name for this? Um, I'm going to put names. So Gail, um, I owe Tammy, Tammy Royer, her, she's got a package going out. She was the last Joyful Jar winner. And then I'm going to pick names today. What is today? So at the end of the month on the, like probably around the Sunday or Monday-ish, I'm going to pick two names because I haven't picked a name. I picked Tammy's name late for March. I'm just going to start picking two names at the end of the month because I don't want to, um, the truth is, I just don't have the bandwidth to do it twice a month. Um, so, but I want to give two prizes. Okay. So yeah, it is so cute. Okay, this, and you know what? Like you get going and you think, wow, I'm going to be done here just in, in no time flat. And then um, I'm going to do the words before the B just because the the word, the words kind of determine B placement. Who was it, Deanna? She said the lesson with the Gorilla Glue is spray. And when you think you don't have enough, spray a little more. But don't spray so much that it gushes, right? Um, this decor wax really just, I think, makes it. So I like the decor wax when you have these outlines because you can ooch it just a little bit before, it, or not the decor wax, this. You can ooch it just enough to get it on those outlines or those score lines. Um, but not so much that it um, causes a problem. So I'm going to assemble my B first only because um, I don't want to glue the B on and then the wings on and then have it in the wrong place. And this is maybe a little sloppy sauce, but it's what it is. Yeah, you have to get... Um, you have to get just the right amount of glue. And you also really, for the best adhesion, you need to get some pressure on that. And it's just as simple as that, right? Turn it upside down, stack a book, whatever. Um, but this Loctite, I mean, it is, if you're just doing a little bit of gluing, if you're doing a lot of gluing, I mean... See, it's it's on there. Now, if I was super unhappy, I could go in there and pop it off because I have before. But my watch wants me to stand up. It does not understand that I'm in the middle of a very important activity. Okay, I'm just going to do this. But you get some pressure on that. Um... Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm glad. And you know what? We're going to do um, a crafting fiesta on Friday, the, the 5th, in celebration of all of the great things that the country to the south has brought to us through their independence and all of that wonderful stuff. So we are super excited and I have a shirt and I might make cactus earrings. So Oh no, she's having dental Oh, dental surgery is the worst. I've had so much dental dental surgery. Okay. And then we'll just add the thing up the um 
Did anybody tell me what this thing is? Is this a honey dipper? What is that? Anyone know? Honey wand? Honey dispenser? Okay. See how cute that is? Ah! So you guys, if you have this, okay? If you have this, I'm not going to do this because I'm going to display this as a tray. But see, look. You can put a, you, all you need is the glue gun, some jute string on the back. Well, I'm not going to be able to line it up right while I'm looking at the computer screen. See, some jute string on the back, and then it'll hang on these signs. So this short signpost, this view of the short signpost, I'm just giving you an idea for this. You can take your tear tray signs and hang them on here, okay? And you can just hot glue it. That's all I did with this one. It's not heavy. It's not going to fall off. So... Just another idea for you. So don't don't get like stressed out. You could take one from a set. You could just get one, whatever, right? So you absolutely could do that. Honey dipper. Okay, honey wand. So the crafting fiesta is eight thirty. Um, it's eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty Eastern. Um, it's 8.30 Eastern. So I know, um, the, I did that one in Brown to go with the tear tray set from Easter. And I will probably do another one in, in white, a little one in white and a little one in black because, um, then I can put it in different places and with different sets. Like I did the big one in black because I wanted it to look good with the B set. All right, so God, my fingers are dirty. Ah. Oh yeah. Um yeah, the Loctite is great. Jennifer turned me on to it. The only thing is like I go through it like I couldn't only use that. It's just it's way too expensive because um I go through it like crazy. Um no, this one gets the loop and go. I don't know if I'm going to do this right. I always forget. I think this is it. I think that the one that goes down goes across. Yeah, that, that is. No. There is. A, no, I did it. Where did I do it? Upside down. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. La, la, la. Okay. Look at this. Um, it's not right. I don't like that. You know what I might do? I'm going to try this. I try one last thing. Um, oh, Leslie Tabor, you want the set? I don't blame you. I want the set too. I, I love it. It's just, I don't know, nature and bees, but Michelle, thank you. Cause the time difference, are you, are you, um, out on the West coast? Um, okay. So. Oh God. I don't know. I'm just going to call you back. That's my son's school. If they call back again, I might have to, maybe they'll call Joe. Um, okay. Oh, you're in the UK, Michelle. Oh, that's right. I remember. Now I remember because you won on the printable parade. That's right. Thank you for that reminder. Okay. Finger bow guys, left to right. And we're going to go under and through and then we're going to come around left to right see okay and my hands are dirty but i don't i'm not sure where my baby wipes are now we're going to pull this and this is where you adjust it oh the dental work oh the dentist i have so much dental work 
So how many hours difference? Like what time is it there, Michelle? See, I need digital stuff for my people in the UK, right? I mean, that's I know that's why I like to do the printables. I know you guys have been asking for more printables too. Um, so that I have something to do because the shipping is as much as the tray. I mean, it's ridiculous. Just, I don't know how anyone can. Okay, they're kind of stuck on my fingers because it's a little bow. Just be patient. Be patient. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So the only thing about this bow is it doesn't tighten like when you pull it both ways. Does that make sense? Um, and so, but see, it makes it a really cute bow to put on something. It just doesn't tighten the way that um, you would think it would. So the best way to finish it is to glue it, if that makes sense, so that it stays in place. So it just, it's just called a finger bow. You can do really small ones on fork tines. Um, and I'm gonna put this on here. I'm still not like super happy. See, I know I even struggle. The smaller the bow, really, I feel like the more difficult it is um, to make it look the way you want it to look because it just is. So on these, you pull one side and you pull it tight, but then they pull like through the middle, right to left. And, um, see to even it out, but I just, I don't know, just the small bows. I'm not a fan of them because they don't, they're, they're harder than a big bow. Like a big bow I'd be done with by now. I'd have that thing on the door hanger. So, all right, we're just going to roll with it. I'm still like, you guys can tell I'm still not happy because I haven't stopped, but nobody wants to watch this. Nobody wants me to watch me struggle through the bow. Okay, I'm going to make these a little shorter, though. I just, I just, the little tiny bows, I don't think are ever, are ever easy. Okay. And we're going to put that on there. Okay. I'm going to put a little drop of glue. This, the Loctite or hot glue is great for this, guys. And this is kind of going to be our third thing. And I think I'm going to put it right there. Oh, I like it. Okay, girls. Here we go. We had a good crafting session today, didn't we? I put a lot of glue on there, which probably was a bad idea. So sometimes if you have a lot, the more you have, the longer it takes to set. Do not be surprised if I rip this bow off and try something else because I'm not in love. But I'm just going to stop. I don't know if I can. Okay. All right. Let's, let's unshare my camera. All right, girls. So be kind. And honeypot. This one has a little stand, so it'll go in the stand. I would do that in the brown um, and stand up by itself. Or it could have a stand in the back. So those are the two signs. Let me pick some names. I cannot forget to pick the names. All right. The big bows, I like I can whip out the big bows most of the time, but... Um, but I cannot do the, um, the, the, the little ones, I think the smaller they are, the, okay. Your work day is going faster. All right. So I'm not looking. Okay. Gail Nichols. Congratulations, lady. And the four more names. Okay. Michelle Irvine. Yes, Cassie, there's a big B. It's a it's a hot mess now over here, but um 
I have a big B. Oh, you can't see. I have a big B. There's like a stacked word sign that says buzz, honey, and bumble. And then there's a hexagon B garland. Super cute. So um, I just didn't paint all of them. We just painted two because I knew I was going to chat a lot and it was going to take too long. And I'm not looking. We have Teresa from Painted Relaxations. Woohoo! Two more. And Tammy Waterworth. All right, last one for today, ladies. I'm going to check my voicemail. Joe didn't come down. So, I mean, if it's an emergency, they call him next. And I picked someone that I already picked. So I'm going to go again. Oh, I just picked Teresa again. Cassie Ram Chavez. All right, ladies. All right. Awesome. Awesome. I am going to, I'll, I'll text y'all when that's up on the site. Um, and thank you for hanging out and crafting for me with, with me. And thank you for prayers for our friend Gail. And, um, I will see y'all very, very soon. Um, again, DM me if you have suggestions or ideas for trays or lives or for, um, something you want to see Jennifer and I do. Sometimes you guys have better ideas than we do. All right. I love you. And I will see you all very soon. Have an awesome rest of your Friday.